Well, hello again, my GBC people. Um, yeah, last week we were talking about faith and we're going to be continuing this discussion um, about faith this week. Last week we were talking about uh, what exactly faith is. And this week we're going to be talking about the content of saving faith, all right? Or what does saving faith or true faith actually believe? Um, and it's a little bit of a long one, all right? But we're going to dive in and let's read uh, question and answer 31 together. Question, what do we believe by true faith? Answer, everything taught to us in the gospel. The Apostles' Creed expresses what we believe in these words. We believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. That was a mouthful, and it's all true, but um, it's important to remember that the Apostles' Creed is an incredible summary of a number of truths contained in Scripture that Christians throughout history have agreed upon. But if, if some of that went over your head, don't worry about it. Um, because I think we can simplify a little for our purposes today. Um, let's consider what the Apostle Paul says in Romans 10, where he's talking about um, the content of the message that he and the other apostles have been proclaiming. And he says this there, Romans 10 verse 9. If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. These are the bedrock non-negotiables of the gospel, right? Jesus Christ has to be Lord in order for him to be able to deal with our sin, right? Our sin is against the creator of the universe. And so therefore, the, the only the creator of the universe is able to forgive us. It's right. Uh, it, it, it's like, rather, if I were to steal something from you, and then someone else were to come up to me and say, oh, it, it's okay, it's no big deal, you're forgiven. Well, you're not going to feel that way. Um, you, you, I, the other person does not have the right to forgive me, right? And so if our sin is against the King of Heaven, the Lord of the universe, then Jesus has to be that Lord in order to accomplish our salvation, right? So that's the first thing. And secondly, uh, we have to believe that Jesus Christ actually rose from the dead. As hard as that is for our finite, limited human minds to understand, that is the confirmation that he actually accomplished all the things that he said he was going to accomplish, namely our salvation, right? And so if you believe those two things, that Jesus Christ is Lord and that he was raised from the dead, then you are saved, according to Paul in Romans 10. Now, as our answer points out, um, if those two things are true, right, then that means that there is a host of other things that the Bible teaches about who Jesus is, uh, what he did, his motivations for that, his relationship to the Father and to the Holy Spirit. Um, all those other things must be true as well. And that's why our answer starts out by saying that we believe everything that is taught in the gospel. And we can expand that because the whole Bible is preaching the gospel. It's not limited to just Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, right? The whole story of scripture is about Jesus' great rescue plan, okay? And so we need to believe the content of the Bible. And all of the content of the Bible points to these things, that Jesus was, is in fact Lord and that he did in fact rise from the dead. All right, so as we've been talking about all along about saving faith and how we're saved by faith in Jesus Christ, if you believe these things, if you truly, deeply in your heart believe that Jesus is Lord, he is the king, the creator of everything, of you and of me, and you believe that he died to take your sins away and then rose again from the dead, victorious over the grave, victorious over sin and Satan and 
all of the effects of the curse of sin that have ravaged the world throughout human history, then you are saved and you can rest secure in that. All right, that's it for this week.